there. So today's video is about that area of your life or that situation that sucks <laughs> and how what to do about it. So these are the five steps to changing whatever that is, changing that area of your life, changing the situation that's going on, whatever it is that um, is that you're just not happy with that you're just not happy with. And so for so five steps, we're gonna go right down the list. First step is name it, like give it a name. Don't just say my life sucks or nah, 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 like make it fluffy. No, 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 name the thing. This is going back to like my first video of shining the flashlight under the bed, calling out the monster, make a name for it. What is the exact situation? What is going on? that is making you unhappy or that you wish were different. Actually name it. Number two is backtrack. Take some time to look at um, what were, like what led you to where you are today? Like what were all of the things, if, if, your, move, if your life was a movie and we just rewound it, what were all of the things that led you to where you are today? What were those factors that brought you to this unpleasant place that you are today? Three is when you're looking at those, take specific note of which things were actions and decisions made by you. What were the things that you decided or what were the actions that you took that were along that route? that led you to where you are today? What were those decisions that you made for each fork in the road? Which were the ones that you made that led you to where you are today versus taking one of the other, you know, one of the other decisions, one of the other forks? No, not the other side of the fork, whatever. Whatever that is, but what were the decisions and actions that you took to lead, that led you to today? Number four is dismiss all of those things in two. When we did the backtracking thing and we saw what led us to today, we have the tendency of putting the focus out that the world did this to me, that person did that to me, that company did this to me, the weather did this to me, all those things. So take note of which steps along the way were 100% outside sources. 100% outside sources that you had nothing to do with, like tornado, right? Like crazy outside sources. Take note of how much, even with a tornado though, right? We can watch the weather, we could be tracking it, we could be aware. So even if a tornado comes, we, there's still decisions to be made, right? So take note of which things were 100% out of your control, 100% and dismiss them. You're going to want to focus on the outside sources. Don't do that, bring your focus back to yourself. And then the fifth, so then what we're going to end up having is, so we have the situation that you're currently in. We backtrack to see what was the route that you took to get here. We looked at each one of the decisions along the way that brought you here. We're dismissing the things that we don't have control over, the things that, you know, outside sources that you have no control over. And now we are brainstorming actions. Take some time like set a timer for 10 minutes and just brain dump ideas of what you can do differently to take a different route, to get yourself out of this situation. What are the decisions? What are the actual actions that you can take? What are you in control of? What are the actions you can take to get yourself to a different destination? Let me know how it's going. Click subscribe, like, friend, do all the social media stuffy stuff, share, 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 um, do all the things so that I can keep doing these and so that more people can see them. Um, and the support is, of course, always appreciated. Let me know what you think of this, because again, I know this can push a little buttons. This can feel a little um, note that there's a, a very fine line between victim blaming and taking your control back.
right? And so this is what we're, we are doing. We're taking our control back. I know that sometimes there are outside sources, but you have way more control than you probably think you do. And that's where we're putting your focus is on your control and what you can do to get where you want to be. Cause you have it, you have that power in you. Let's grab it and use it. Um, let me know what you think and I will see you next week. Bye.